Hello there, I'm Stuart Goldsmith. I'm doing a show called The Bulmer's Best of the Edinburgh Fest with two wonderful other comedians from the UK, Tom Allen and Jimmy McGee. And we're in the Capitol Theatre every night and now I'm going to look in the box. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Definitely a hundred duck-sized horses. Well, I say that, but I think the fight would be more amusing. It'd be more fun if there were a hundred of them. Um, plus, I, I mean, who wouldn't like to see a duck-sized horse? In fact, I'm imagining quite a small duck. I think I'm imagining ducklings. But actually, ducks can be quite big bastards, can't they? So, horses... How power... Would they be... Uh, would they be, like, power, uh, as powerful as a real horse? Because that would actually... I've talked myself into a terrible situation there. Um, would you rather fight... I'm going to go for a horse-sized duck because... No, but imagine its beak. Jesus, do you know how much, like, do you know how scary ducks are compared to a goose, which is only, what, like six inches taller, but a vicious bastard. So a horse-sized one would be terrible. I don't want to do either. Can I, how about if I, okay, I'll do a hundred duck-sized horses if I'm allowed to split into a hundred small-sized stewards. And then each one of them, I like to think, would do a horse whisperer thing and just talk them down and climb onto them. And we go off and have, uh, we do crime, I imagine. A um, hundred tiny crimes. When is it acceptable to wear socks with sandals? Sort of if you're a bit of an odd bod that likes to hang out in a supermarket with a cornflake stuck to your face. Time travel. When do we start? Where do we start? When do we start? Ah, oh, if only I said that the other way around, it would have been so clever. Hang on, I'll come back in ten minutes ago. This is my problem with the movie The Dark Knight Rises, okay? The problem is, in the second film, in The Dark Knight, when you have the Joker driving the big lorry, uh, like an articulated lorry, and you've got uh, Batman and, spoiler alert, secretly Jim Gordon in disguise, uh, driving the uh, police van, I understand what those two things are. I've never driven either of them, but I have a rough appreciation of the physics of what happens when one chases the other and swerves and all the rest of it. In The Dark Knight Rises, when Batman effectively has a magic helicopter and Bane effectively has a bunch of magic tanks, what do we know about physics? How are we supposed to decide, how, how am I supposed to relate to that as a human being? We go, oh, they've all got magic stuff. It's like, what you want to see from Batman, right, is you want to see him with no gadgets in a room and there's like poison gas coming in through a vent and he takes his cowl off and stuffs it up and puts it in the vent until the pressure builds up and then it explodes and he blows the wall out and he gets free. That's what you want to see. You don't want him to get his bat fly swat out and swat the killer flies. Because he's, where's the ingenuity? Nolan. No,